Sack spiders are hunting spiders that can be found throughout the US and the world, but when disturbed, they'll bite, causing pain and swelling. While a few spiders are beneficial, there's no help being done when an infestation breaks out, so in this video, we'll teach you how to identify and control sack spiders in and around your home. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To buy the products featured in this video or to learn more about sack spiders, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Sack spiders are common spiders that can be found throughout the US. Names for common sack spiders include the agrarian sack spider, black-footed sack spider, long-legged sack spider, yellow sack spider, and northern yellow sack spider. These spiders are very small with body lengths from one-tenth to half an inch in length. Their body colors include reds, browns, tans, and yellows. Their legs and bodies are sparsely covered with a few hairs, and the body segments are often two different shades of color. Some spiders have markings on the cephalothorax or on the abdomen, and some can have banded legs or dark feet. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Sack spiders can be found indoors and outdoors throughout the year, but they don't build webs like most other spiders. Sack spiders hunt their prey and only use their webbing to make sacks to rest in or to hide their eggs in. During the day, sack spiders can be found in gardens, underneath debris, and in or around outdoor structures like the shed. Indoors, you can find these spiders or their sleep sacks in the corners of rooms and ceilings, underneath clutter, or under furniture. Sack spiders can be found anywhere in the house, but they'll prefer more humid, less frequented rooms, like the attic or basement. Take note of any spiders or sacks that you may have found on your property. Also, note any entry points spiders or other pests can use to invade your home. A spider infestation indoors usually indicates other pest problems as well. Be cautious when inspecting, as sack spiders will bite if disturbed. The bite is painful and may cause swelling or lesions, but is overall non-lethal. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. First, clean and declutter in and around your home. Sack spiders will establish webs in dense areas they can hide in. This includes moving boxes indoors, mowing the lawn, trimming overgrown shrubs, and picking up wooden debris. If you find any webs, knock them down with a cobweb duster. The cobweb duster is made of nylon bristles designed to remove webs and spider eggs. For any webs in higher, hard-to-reach areas, you can attach the duster to an extension pole. Address any entry points you may have found and apply exclusion methods to ensure no further pests can invade. Tight cracks and crevices may be filled with caulk, while larger voids may need to be stuffed with copper mesh. You may also need to repair any torn screens or a fixed brush or rubber seals on doors and windows. After you've cleaned, you'll need to treat your yard with a broadcast application of Bifen LP. Bifen LP is a granular insecticide made to eliminate turf-dwelling pests. The goal of this application is to eliminate the spider's main food source, so they'll be encouraged to relocate off your property. With a broadcast spreader, apply up to the labeled rate of 4.6 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area for full coverage of pests in your yard. Once you've evenly distributed the bifen granules over your lawn, you'll need to activate them with water. You can do this with an application of Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a liquid insecticide that will treat pests on contact, and it will leave a residual that continues to control pests after it dries. We recommend you make the application with a handheld pump sprayer since you'll need it to treat both outdoors and indoors. Mix a solution at the product's labeled rate of 0.33 fluid ounces to one whole fluid ounce of Supreme IT per one gallon of water over 1,000 square feet. Use the higher amount if you're dealing with a heavy pest infestation. With your sprayer, evenly broadcast your product over the treatment area. Be sure to use a fan or cone setting with low pressure to ensure you get full, even coverage. After you've activated the Bifen, conduct a barrier application with Supreme IT around the perimeter of your structure. Spray any entry points like doors, windows, and other voids pests and spiders can use to invade. Then, spray your structure's outer perimeter by spraying 3 feet up the structure and 3 feet out. Next, apply your solution indoors. 
treat entry points like doors and windows, and where pests may be hiding. Pay close attention to cracks and crevices. This includes baseboards, around water pipes, and behind and underneath appliances. You'll also want to treat in attics, basements, and garages. When complete, allow the solution to dry. This product will leave a residual that lasts for up to 90 days and will control many pests. Labeled pests that make contact with the residual will have their nervous system impacted, eventually dying in several hours. If you encounter any spiders while spraying, you may spray them directly, as residual effects from insecticides will have little effect on spiders anyway. After chemical treatment, set up glue traps to monitor for any further activity. Use Solutions Pro glue boards for easy setup and placement. Simply remove the trap's waxy paper seal and lay the trap flat and flush against the wall near where you've seen pest activity, out of reach of any children or pets. If you, a child, or a pet get stuck on these glue boards, you can use cooking oil to loosen the trap's stickiness. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. To stop sack spiders and other pests from invading, you'll need to address any moisture issues you may be having inside your home. Pests are attracted to moist rooms, so fix any leaking pipes, address any air conditioning problems, drain any standing water, and dry your sinks every night. Continue to pick up and clean inside and outside of your home to get rid of any potential spider harborages. Rake the lawn regularly, pick up any debris, and keep firewood properly stacked away from your home's foundation. Finally, keep up with timed reapplications of Supreme IT. Supreme IT has a 90-day residual effect, so we recommend you spray quarterly to keep pests away year-long. While sack spiders are normally beneficial, their presence indoors can indicate underlying pest problems. So with these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop sack spiders and other pests from infesting your home, and we offer free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.